Hey guys, Malkuth1974 coming back at you with another episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast! And we are beasting today! Or, feed the beasting, or something like that. Anyway, in my last episode I said I was going to redo my Thomcraft area, or I wanted your opinions. I, I think I only got one opinion on it, but whatever. Uh told me to rebuild it so I went and I rebuild it wanted to come up with a design this is the old place as you know none of my stuff is in here anymore because I have gotten rid of it I will show you the new place that is going to be the new Thomcraft building I really would like to wait for dark because I was watching monkey puzzles uh, video where he was update upgrading his uh, Thomcraft room too so I guess we both had the same idea at the same time but he came up with this brilliant lighting system that I've never really thought about before because I didn't I guess I just didn't realize it but first let's show you it's actually a dome so if we actually look at it it is a dome building and we'll fall and inside we won't look up yet we won't oh you can already see some of it obviously I have plenty of room now what the hell are all these liquid duct pipes doing here well this is what monkey puzzle came up with or he tried and it looked brilliant uh, I know I'm using the texture pack so it looks a little different I'll show you guys what it looks like in the the normal minecraft too but I want to get dark I've already did it but I've actually come up with an on and off switch that is somewhat useful, but not really. Uh, having one liquid duct, one of the every pipe is connected to each other, and having one hook to a tank that goes down into the cyst, down way into the ground, gives a place for all the lava to go to. And there's a liquid tesseract that is hooked to my quarry system, not the quarry system, but my lava system. Right now it's just off totally disconnected it and that's how you get the lava into the system in the first place and what you have to do is you have to turn the lever the okay let's talk about the whole because where I'm from we call it a lever a lever but the actual word is because we don't pronounce ours in the northeast for some reason I don't know we're not we're anti-pirate you know we're like you know pirates are like Arr, and we're like lever we don't do R we do lever and you know like water water lever but I guess it's actually I, I've tried to pronounce it correctly before lever lever like the British they properly pronounce it lever so I guess I could say lever there we go if I don't want the R in there but anyway oh it's getting dark so just pushing the lever isn't really enough you actually have to set this up and we have light. Do I actually still have enough in there? What happens is that even though these are in the piping system, oh, they're filling up now. Okay. Uh, when you have liquid in a liquid duct pipe, there is an actual loss. So if you don't, I, I tried it at once keeping just taking that off once they got filled but I came back like a few hours later and half the pipes are empty so there is some sort of loss system in the liquid duct pipes where it's constantly sucking up the lava that's in the pipe so you always have to have a constant supply of lava to keep it going but basically yeah that's what the that's what it looks like let me go show you guys what it looks like in uh, vanilla be right back alright I am back and this is the oh you like my golem so this is what it would look like in vanilla I don't ah I won't get into it I don't really like the pure PD craft lava what it looks like I might come up with uh, putting some another texture in there but the way the textures work I don't think I can do it but uh, anyway so yeah that's what it looks like in the vanilla minecraft and if I want to shut it off again I would have to actually I mean there's no reason to shut it off 
but just drain it back out, shut the system down. It takes a few seconds. Or not. Whatever. But yeah, so this is the new Thom Craft Room. Hopefully, uh, we'll get some. Basically, I'm making room for when I get my tubes and stuff like that and my my own uh, golems or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, the little guys there that run around. They have plenty of room to run around. I'll be able to have, have my brain in the jars and my jars taking all my ex extra essence and all that stuff. So yeah, this is definitely a cool move. Uh, there is a basement here because I didn't know if I was going to run piping down here. So I kind of just cleared out the basement a little bit. Ah! And we fall. Yeah, so see it slowly, slowly gathering up down there. But and now we're dark. Oh, now it's totally dark. And then if we want to load it back up, bam. Bam. And we have light. So let me go back to my, uh, yeah, so total kudos to him for making that. I'll post his uh, his link down there. Again, his name is Monkey Puzzle, so just look for the little name Monkey Puzzle in the link, and you'll see him right there. Totally got this idea from him, so they didn't want to. Uh, uh, I decided to make you know in the sides of the walls too, just because it looked kind of cool, and I used uh, the curium blocks for majority of the building and I'm not knowing I don't know what I know about the what I think about the um, the wood <sighs> I'm almost thinking that a different color wood would have worked better I'm almost thinking I should replace it with white maybe marble ah, I don't know I don't know it's still a work in progress so anyway we'll go on to some more stuff I have a lot of projects that I want to do, and I don't know, there's just so much stuff that I want to do. I want to totally redesign this mess. Uh, it just doesn't work very well. It gets overflowed. I want to have more than one recycler in here. Uh, recycling, basically. Uh, I have like a, a bank of them. Uh, I've seen a couple pe people's videos. Uh, again, like Monkey Puzzle, he has a massive bank of them. And what I need to actually end up doing is all the stuff that I, I don't quarry all the time just because I can't handle the overflow. Because right now, basically, all my overflow either goes into this chest or it gets void piped out. And I'm running low on uh, cobblestone. That's pretty much all the cobblestone I have left in the whole place. Other than what I actually have in my system I got lots of moss so yeah 360 I don't really have a whole lot of cobblestone so I need to get the quarries back up and running uh, I usually don't do quarries anymore but even though I like my quarry machine it's a pain in the ass because I still haven't automated it and I have uh, Optifine installed and I've complained about this on the Optifine forum many, many times. But Optifine, I finally figured out what it is. I could probably do it fine now if I want because uh, I know what all these le these levers go to. But Optifine signs and frames do not mix. If you put a sign on a frame and you start moving. Uh, it gives it gives you all kinds of issues. I could just take these signs down and uh, probably move it that way, but I like my signs, so and it, it it helps me remind me which way is which in this anyway. So uh, the only way I can actually quarry with this farm, quarry with this at this point, is to actually turn off Optifine and do it that way. And I don't really like that, but. Another project I want to do is totally has to do with this system. I want to change my XP farm. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god, that's so loud. 
I hope that wasn't like that the whole video. Apologize if it was. Uh, my XP farm, you know, right now it's just, it's not an XP farm. I can set it up. If I go like that, it'll get rid of the things, and now it's an XP farm again. I can just go down here and start killing me some, uh, some guys. But what I want to do is I want to use a turtle to do the killing for me. I've seen a few videos on it. And I'm thinking maybe that's what I need to concentrate on on this video. I'm sure I'm s not really uh, the commands aren't that difficult to actually have to loop a uh, a turtle to kill every you know detect them and all that stuff. Uh, there's a I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I'll probably place him right here. And, uh, I, I don't know how one turtle will do, so, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those uh, crazy-ass things. Do I need to make it wider now and all that stuff where they can move around and stuff like that? I don't know. We'll figure it all out. So I think that's what I'm going to concentrate on this. I'm going to pause the video and figure it out and start constructing it. I'm going to have to put this in peaceful mode. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cheat a little bit to put this in peaceful mode because it, pretty much when you set up a... Uh, when you set up one of these spawns, there's no way to get out. I guess I should, I should install a system uh, to shut the spawn off, or you can work on it. But yeah, there'd be no way I'd be able to work. I'd be blown up by a creeper within seconds. So yeah, I'm gonna shut it off, and I'm gonna figure this out, and we'll get back to it. Okay, let's see if we can try this yet again. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't even want to explain it to you guys, but working with a mob spawner like this is a nightmare when it's active I mean these aren't even these are just this is an old-fashioned mob spawner uh, even when I have that up there like that uh, it causes explosions because the skeletons can still track me and they try to shoot me and if there's a big bunch of monsters stuck up there they're most likely shooting a stupid creeper which causes a creeper to explode which blows that all up up there yeah, so I had an explosion down here, and I had, uh, it's just been absolutely nightmarish trying to get this thing to freaking work. So, let me put my window back in here. Yeah, it's been very frustrating, trust me. So there. I'll be able to see them. But, the simple thing that I was making a mistake in, I got in peaceful mode, by the way, too, just so I don't have to deal with it. What I was doing wrong was I had turtle drop up. I didn't have the U capitalized. That's the only thing I was making a mistake with. So, and I took the end out and made it one big, uh, uh, basically big thing. And I probably could add a. People suggest that you add a. Um, why can't I think? A pause in here. Uh, yeah, so what we want to do is we got to go, uh, what we want to do is actually go sleep point one, I think. Yeah, so that should, I'll see if it works. Keep trying to add to this, which I guess might not be, whoops. I just reboot the computer to make sure it loads up. Yeah, so there we go. Hopefully that will do it. Let's put these guys back into normal. Oh crap, I got that open. That's still closed. There. Now it's a normal block. Is this all closed up correctly? Yep. So we'll see if this works now. I need to eat. What we'll do is we'll watch the turtle. From over here.
Yep, it works. Awesome. I think what I'm going to do later is add a a dime pipe here and a void pipe to get rid of the stuff I don't want, like the, the useless meat. So, yep, that's all I was doing. Uh, well, I'm going to actually call it on this, guys. Uh, <laughs> frustrating getting this thing to work when you don't know computer craft at all. So, I'll be doing some more redesigning of how it's going to work, where it's going to work. And we'll see you guys later. As always, please subscribe, comment, and rate. See you later. Bye.